Hello everyone. My name is Hemant Kasibata and I am from MuleSoft's customer success, strategy and architecture team. In this video, we'll be looking at MuleSoft's AnyPoint exchange and how it helps the users to make APIs truly discoverable. This is very important to make sure that the APIs are driving consumption and adoption and also to improve the API developer experience. MuleSoft's Exchange offers all the necessary tools to its users to make it easier to discover these APIs. We'll look at these tools today. So without further ado, let's see how we can truly make your APIs discoverable. Before we jump into the demo, let us look at the importance of making APIs discoverable with taxonomy, categories, and tags. What is developer experience? API developer experience is a focus aimed to improve API consumption so it provides a seamless experience to developers when dealing with APIs. In short, developer experience is important for the same reason user experience is important. Developers who find good DX are happier promote more APIs and use their APIs longer. As companies grow and mature in their digital transformation journey, the number of APIs and other integration assets increase significantly, making it difficult to find the APIs and use them. There's tons of frameworks out there and we have found it's best to describe a great developer experience using the UX Honeycomb. The UX Honeycomb was designed by Peter Morwell, a designer and an information architect. The tool explains various facets of user experience and is widely accepted as an industry standard for UX design. The purpose is to find a sweet spot between various areas of a good user experience. A perfect balance between think, feel and use is important for API portals. We will focus primarily on findability or discoverability in this video. The APIs and other API assets need to be findable and easy to navigate. The navigation and categorization structure should make sense. Exchange is a robust shared catalog with features like categories, tags, and advanced search. It provides a very ambient findability experience. So what are exchange categories and tags? Categories are similar to aisle signs in grocery stores. It enables exchange admins to create classification of APIs so that the API owners can apply categories for API consumers to filter their search. A category entails name of the category and list of relevant business values of the category. For example, an API can be categorized based on the department or the business unit that it belongs to under department category with values like marketing, HR, accounting, etc. Categories can only be created by exchange admins. Once created, exchange contributors who own the APIs can apply them to their APIs. Admins can either select what type of asset a category can be assigned to or apply to all the assets. Let us look at tags. On the other hand, tags are searchable, meaningful, and relevant keywords that define characteristics of a specific API. A tag is similar to price tag on clothes. clothes. Tags can also be compared with hashtags on social media. Tags classify API specific traits and they can drive curated results. Tag is a single lowercase word. As an example, a Salesforce API at system layer with batch operations on marketing cloud can be tagged with words like SFDC, marketing cloud, batch, and system layer. Tags can be created and applied to APIs by exchange contributors. Taking time to define the categories and tags with a more holistic approach 
can lead to several benefits. It boosts your search experience, reduces the time and effort users have to put to find the right API, decreases chances of users not discovering your APIs, provides an overall superior experience with navigation. But instead of creating random categories, what is the best approach to create a categorization model that is structured and meaningful? The best approach is by embracing a taxonomy model. Taxonomy is a Greek word that describes the loss of ordering. In short, it is organizing, categorizing, grouping, but most importantly, understanding why that is being done. As number of APIs grow, the taxonomy and search become very critical for both internal and external audience. How to find and identify the taxonomy of your categories? To derive the right categories through API taxonomy, it is important to look at various contexts of that organization. These contexts include business, IT, technical or operational aspects of an API. The approach is to identify your business, IT, technical, and the API contexts such as types, logic, or connectivity. Using these contexts on the left side, a list of category values that are relevant to an organization's APIs can be hashed out. This way, you're addressing the why and the reason behind creating a category. It also provides a structure in your categorization and it avoids randomness. Once categories are identified, they are created and are assigned to your APIs. To further expand findability of APIs, tags can be added by API owners, which are relevant to that API. Mulesoft Customer Success also offers workshops and exercises that can be leveraged to do the same. Exchange Graph Search is a brand new search model which uses MuleSoft's application network graph. Here are some of the benefits. Users will benefit by searching and discovering your APIs on specific search terms based on several properties of an individual asset, like name, description. It offers total four filters that can be applied during the search. The filters are the type of an asset, organization that it belongs to, and most importantly, categories and tags to help users find what they're looking for much faster. Match criteria helps a user understand why an asset or an API is being returned based on their search. It highlights the match term, giving much more visibility within the search page. Finally, a user can save this combination of search terms and filters to both user search or organization search. With the knowledge of API discoverability, categories and tags, and their role in better developer experience in exchange, let us dive into a short, short demo on how to set them up and use them in search. Let us first learn how to create categories and apply categories to APIs. We'll create two new exchange categories and apply them to an API. To create categories, Exchange admins need to go to Settings in the Exchange page. Only Exchange admins can access the settings. We will first create a category called Backend Systems. This category, as the name suggests, can be applied to APIs based on what system or application the API is connecting to. I will add three values to this category. They are going to be Salesforce. The second one will be SAP. And the last one is a Workday instance or a database. We can apply the category to either all types of exchange assets or selective types. I'm going to apply it for all types and click save. 
now i will add another category for the type of an api in the api led connectivity model i'll name this category api layer this category is going to have three values system api process api and experience api the same thing here apply to all types and i'm going to hit save now we will open an api and apply the categories which we just created to apply a category click on the add category on the right hand side select the category that you want to add so in this case it's api layer and then we'll select a value to add and this is a system api so the value that we are going to add here is system api now we can add multiple categories so we'll add the second category as well so the second category is going to be a back end system with a value of salesforce because this is connecting to a salesforce back end system now we have successfully created two categories for our api while we are on this page we can add tags that are relevant and are describing this api and these traits of api are more fluid and do not have a fixed set of values so they can be added as tags instead of exchange categories to add tags let us see what is this asset first this is an api connecting to salesforce cloud instance of sales cloud it interacts with new salesforce accounts opportunities orders and leads and also this api uses a salesforce connector in its flow to connect to the salesforce instance so based on this let us add tags we'll start with sales cloud and we can add tags such as accounts opportunities orders leads and also finally salesforce connector because if someone wants to search on a connector then they can still use this tag now we successfully created tags and categories the next step we'll be doing is to use them in filtering a search let us assume i am now an api consumer i have come to exchange to find a salesforce api that can solve my use case as a consumer i can see the assets of the organizations and the business groups that i have access to or i am part of those exchange organizations so i will start off by typing salesforce in the search now this results are loading and as you can see there are 100 plus results that have been returned as part of the search it's difficult to find an asset because there are so many results remember we have applied categories and tags this is where they come in now when we apply them as filters our search gets narrowed down based on the filters that we've applied so we're going to apply system api and salesforce api as category filters now there are three assets which is manageable now to further narrow this down i can also see if there are any tags that i can filter upon and these tags that fit my requirement I see there are some tags I can I know that my use case is for sales cloud and that requires a salesforce connector so I'm going to select them and I'm going to apply them now it has further narrowed down so there are two APIs let's see other tags I know this my use case is for opportunities uh object of salesforce so now I applied it and I found the asset now our search is narrowed down and also it brings us to the exact asset page so this way i'm able to find my 
asset or API quickly in my search because of the category taxonomy model along with the tags in the search filters. Imagine going to a large grocery store that has no aisle signs or descriptions. It would be an absolute nightmare to shop and find the things that you're looking for. Similarly, API consumers and developers can feel lost without a good API discoverability strategy using categories, tags, and an intelligent exchange graph search that we have demonstrated. Hope you find this video helpful and thank you for watching.